I'm Tyler and today I'm going to be upgrading my draw system. So I've already got the XDM uh, draw system here and the uh, kitchen set up. This is a pull out kitchen for the cooktop. But I've wanted to integrate a pantry in this side for a while now and a fridge cage because every time I pull the fridge slide out everything just falls behind it and it gets on my nerves. This side's just going to stay that height for uh, yeah, storage like chairs and stuff when I go away. So I've already started, uh, started back in January and um, before I hurt myself, so that's the pantry you got there, the uh, roof bit of the fridge cage in the sides and then this is the backing piece. Uh, I've got the carpet, I've got the paint, I've got the screws, yeah, so we'll just head into it. sprinkling I just cut these that's the slot for the cables to come through from uh, where the angle uh, plug is um, yeah these little slots here are for uh, you to be able to open the tabs on the drawer slide and yeah I'll just uh, start assembling it So, same thing again. I've actually noticed this bit of timber is a bit warped, so I'll see how it goes. If it looks crap, then I will replace it. I think I might have enough to cut another bit, but yeah. So I ended up getting uh, that side that was a bit warped. I just pulled the top screw out and kind of levered it out. It's not too bad, like. I mean, it's getting carpeted over, so honestly, like, I'm not that stressed. So that's what it's looking like in. Yeah, you get the gist. The backing piece is obviously gonna follow that line up and then down and hook under the back piece of this. And then I will carpet inside that and that's already sprayed black because you're not going to see that. So I've just given that a quick lick of paint. I let that dry. So I've made a bit of progress on the pantry, put a shelf in. These are just the supports that screwed that way and this way. And then I found these also in the shed. So there's going to be a rope in here sort of to, to secure the taller stuff. I think I'll have like saucers and things up this side. And the bottom is going to be two. So I've got four of these and I'll just drill some holes about there somewhere. I've just mounted the rest of these, ended up having to you take a little bit out of this, but it actually looks quite nice. So yeah, um, carpet all in that. So I've just carpeted this bit. Um, obviously nothing screwed. So yeah, that, that's the gist of it. Just stapled on these sort of bits using carpet that I already had. I mean, it's not clean on the back, you're not gonna see it. I reckon it looks okay, it's good enough in the corner over here. I've made some brackets here just so that the ply will fit on. I've used the existing pieces here and then I folded down a piece there and then because I still want to be able to use this hatch I'm going to put another piece down there and that'll screw up into that and then I'll put some carpet on the back of it just so it's not going to rub. So I've ended up remaking this one just so it's sits a lot tighter to this 
and yeah that's quite supportive so I'll just redrill those holes and then should be good so I'll see what space I end up with here because I really would like to mount like a hose reel and then the compressor in that space there so then on this back wall you could just have the compressor hose here easy to air up so that's what it will look like mounted obviously there'll be the lock there's that other piece that I've jigsawed previously so I'll carpet that and then I'll carpet the face of this and then I think I'm going to try and incorporate a handle with these two bolts so it doesn't look so funny. So we're here in the back. This piece slips under there. So it's all sitting quite nice. And yeah, so obviously nothing's screwed yet, but that's where it will sit. And then I'm going to get on to carpeting all this stuff now. So I'm currently just giving all this stuff a spray. Yeah, I'm just giving it all the paint, even though it's not going to be seen, it's underneath where the pantry is when I pull it out. I don't want to have an ugly looking bracket that's just bright silver and everything else is black. And then those little um, black pieces are for on top of here. So I'm just making them black to fit with everything else. What I've done here is while I'm waiting for stuff to dry, this hinge used to open um, this way and it was really hard to access my inverter switch and the angle plug and everything so what I've done is changed the hinge and got a bigger one from Bunnings today and changed it to that way and I've got access to all my circuit breaker started to staple this piece on and then the back bit obviously will be seen in the fridge cage so I'm gluing that down as well that's upside down but that's the pantry I've just painted all the bits that are going to be seen, I'll still put carpet in there, just not in every spot. And then that's the base plate, which I'll also put carpet on so that it slides nice. So that's what it looks like all carpeted on the side, you'll see. Well, you'll be behind the seats, but you'll still see it. The bit for the fridge cage, and then obviously none of that's seen. What I used, I used for the adhesive, this quick grip, got that from Bunnings. And then paint-wise, what I've been using is just this Squirts Paint and Prime. So we're going to start carpeting this fridge cage and then we'll just start carpeting everything else. So I actually ran out of the quick grip uh, adhesive spray. So luckily for me, I had <coughs> the exact same stuff just in the tin. So I'm just letting that dry because you meant to let it dry for 15 minutes or something before you put the two bits together and then it should bond. Cage is all carpeted now. Um, I've just carpeted that so then it will slide. And I added a little handle, which I reckon looks pretty good, just out of carpet. Not gonna need to, um, pull too much weight with that so there's the back piece just the final touches on most things uh, just waiting on that glue to get a bit more set before I put this carpet down there onto it so I'll have to finish everything off tomorrow but three cages in everything's carpeted so it should just be a quick assembly in the morning and test fit everything and it should be mint all right pretty much done now I opted to uh, mount the locking system in the middle just because I did mount it on the bottom and this would lever out like that. So yeah, I've opted for the middle, which would be good. It'd be nice and secure, lock that properly. Everything else is done. This is the last piece of the puzzle. Just put this lock on and then, yeah. I mean, I've got to put some ropes on this, but that's easy. It's done. Um, absolutely stoked with how it's turned out. So yeah, already had this drawer, but we added this one, this pantry, which slides out and it also comes all the way out so I can still access all in here where my jack is and all my spares and stuff. And then yeah, fridge cage, so that's just pretty simple. So yeah, this is just a semi-permanent handle for now, so shall I find a better solution? And then I'll figure out what I want to put in each drawer. They're just kind of 
random stuff's in each drawer. We jump in the back. Seats go all the way back, really tight against that. And yeah, nice clean bit of carpet on the back. Cheers for watching guys, my first video, so I'll definitely get the hang of this stuff way better in the next videos to come. Next video we've got Swivel Hub Rebuild, part time install, and then after that, uh, depends on if it rocks up in time, turbo, and then tune. If you guys are interested in a rig rundown, I'll definitely do one um, after all the mods are done, so that'll be easy, just let us know in the comments below if you guys would like to see a rig rundown. Like, subscribe, share, all that kind of stuff, and cheers for watching.